I'm visiting Chef Margarita Flores at her restaurant, Grace Park. Not only is she a successful caterer and restaurant owner, she's also Asia's female chef for 2016. Hi. Hello, Chef Margarita. Hi, Anna. Welcome to Grace Park. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. It's absolutely lovely. Oh, thank you. And I have to offer my congratulations oh. on winning Asia's Best Female Chef. Thank you so much. It's been, I mean, really kind of life-changing. I'm still a little bit in disbelief. You have just really put Filipino cuisine on the map, not just here in Manila, but globally. And I can't wait to see what you have in store to show me today. Well, we have some real iconic Filipino dishes to share with you, so I'm looking forward to that. Well, I'm hungry. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Chef Margarita, we haven't even started cooking, and I'm already impressed. I love this pot. Isn't it great? This is what we call a palayok. It's a traditional cooking vessel made from soil and rainwater, wow. made up north by some women who plant rice. And, you know, they personalize the pot by doing, like, little etchings on the side. That's unbelievable. But what are we going to make in it? Well, we're making a sinigang, which is a very traditional soup. It kind of highlights one of the most important flavor profiles in our cooking, which is the sourness. Especially when we have batuan, which is this souring agent for many, many dishes. Well, why don't we start cooking? Okay, so we start with some batuan that we've crushed in a mortar and pestle. Okay. We put that in there and just pour some water. Let's put on a low flame and we're going to let this boil so that we get a really nice sour broth. Mm -hmm. And that's the base for the soup. So we strain out the batuan because it's now all yellow and ripe. I'm amazed. It didn't take a lot of those batuan for that amount of liquid. Okay, so we'll season the broth now with some red onion and some tomatoes. So just the onion and the tomato right now? Well, the onion, the tomato, and then a little bit of chili. Oh, look at these. They're nice, right? So we do the three river prawns. Wow. The size of those. This is really going to flavor the broth, right. isn't it? And I love the blue. Oh, As blue gorgeous. as your shirt. <laughs> oh. And scallops. Oh, let's take a look at these scallops. They come from a province called Capis. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's the same word that we use for the windows in old Filipino houses. And the panes are made from the shells. From the seashells. Yes. That of salt. Then we do the vegetables. Some radish. The eggplant. But I like that you just throw the eggplant in whole. Just toss her yeah. in there. <laughs> then we have our knotted string bean. I like that. So these are the, our local beans that grow this long. And finally, the water spinach. This is our kangkong. Well, oh, that looks beautiful. It just goes in and we're ready. Okay. Give it a bit of a twirl. And we can... Wow, that's it. That's it. I'm so used to making soups where you have to let it simmer for hours and let all the flavors come together. This, this I is, think, is And beautiful. it's really quick. It takes very little time. We don't have prawns like that at home, but you've got me thinking here about using some of our local seafood, but adding that tart, that sour flavor. I love it. It just smells fantastic. And finally, to add the refreshing finish, we'll add some ripe watermelon on the top. I love that idea. And then the pop of color, just gorgeous. Well, we should give it a taste, shouldn't we? Yes. All right. Mmm. The sour is still there, but it's all about the seafood taste of the river prawns and the scallops. And I love that watermelon. It is truly refreshing. <laughs> it really cleanses your palate, right? Oh, this is spectacular, but we're not done cooking.